it's one of the products that you apply on the skin and your skin is gonna be like wow hi everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video another Fenty skin review video in today's video we are gonna be talking about hydra visor or visor which one is correct we're gonna be talking about their invisible moisturizer that contains the broad spectrum sunscreen spf 30 so i am so so excited to talk about this product because you guys know how much i am obsessed about sunscreen now by the way guys this product came in in this box right here so uh according to the brand this sunscreen or a moisturizer with the sunscreen is refillable so you can actually purchase the refill after you finish using the product that way you don't have to waste money on the actual packaging and all of the packaging by the way from the fancy skin according to what i read on the website is recyclable as well recyclable as well i can speak today please bear with me guys i am eight months pregnant and summer in hawaii is not a joke guys i am trying to dab myself several times today because my makeup is melting spoiler alert I did use uh, this moisturizer underneath my makeup today. You know where we're getting with this in the video. Now, one of the best selling points, in my opinion, is the moisturizer being infused with sunscreen. Let's be honest, guys. It's kind of hard to find a moisturizer that contains SPF 30. Sometimes moisturizers do contain 20 SPF 20 or sometimes 15, but it's hard to find the one that's SPF 30. By the way, guys, my cold sore is still here. I do apologize if it kind of distracts you in the video. Please try not to pay attention. It's gonna go away. It's not gonna be like this forever. <laughs> the claims of the product, this is light as air and it's invisible SPF. They also say it's going to help with discoloration. I do kind of understand the claim here because when you do wear sunscreen, it actually prevents your skin from from getting dark spots that's caused by the sun. And another great selling point of the product, in my opinion, is this being riff friendly. This does not contain octanoxate and it does not contain oxybenzone. Those are the two sunscreen filters that harm the riff, that's proven to harm the riff. So if you do live in an area where there is ocean and that you don't want to use you know, a sunscreen that's going to affect the riff. Stay away from those two sunscreen filters. I really do appreciate that they did consider that. Consider that. <laughs> Sorry for my broken English. Now, this really does remind me of a sun bomb a face sunscreen that I do use on a regular basis. Um, the consistency is obviously different. We're going to talk about the consistency here in a second. But the sun bomb face sunscreen does not contain... Um, you know riff harming filters as well so if you want to go for again cheaper alternative sun bomb is i believe like 12 dollars you're gonna get pretty much the same amount here so evobenzone homosalate and the octosalate so those are the three sunscreen filters that's going to protect your skin from the sun and remember those are chemical sunscreen not physical sunscreens now the fancy beauty claims all of your products are oil free it's not going to uh, clog your pores which is non comedogenic and they also say this product is makeup friendly it's going to sit really good underneath the makeup now <clears throat> again i have some things to say about this claim guys i don't know if you guys can see from the camera my skin is literally my skin literally looks like it's covered the, with oil and the brand also mentions that the, it's not going to peel from your skin some sunscreens do and some moisturizers do peel from your skin i have had this experience so many times when i was again testing out other product sometimes what it means it's not blending into the skin well and that it's actually not absorbing into the skin and if you are using skincare products that contains oil and water obviously they don't usually mix together well and that's the reason why it peels from your skin last claim of the product there is no flashback so if you do take photography with a flash on it's not going to the sunscreen is not going to reflect back or it's not going to look like ashy on the camera uh, moving on to the ingredients guys let's talk about the star ingredients of the product the fenty skin infused the kalahari melon extract that's rich in antioxidant that's going to offer a lot of hydration for the skin as well it also contains niacinamide niacinamide is great to reduce um 
hyperpigmentation from the skin it brightens your skin it's very similar to the vitamin c again i did make dedicated video about niacinamide as an ingredient and if you want to know more about that i will leave all the corresponding videos down below check them out for your own favor they're gonna help you and it also contains hyaluronic acid it contains a baobab if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'll write the name right here. So it's the extract of an African tree, which actually offers a lot of hydration for the skin as well. So there's a lot of hydrating ingredients in the product. But then again, guys, the product is all about the performance. You want to make sure that you are putting good ingredients on your skin. You want to make sure that your skin does not react for the ingredients. And you want to make sure that you can rely on the product. No matter what happens to your skin, that's what skincare is all about you know at the end of the day and by the way when you get the product the first thing that you're gonna notice is that it has this pink color and according to the brand the reason why they have used this you know pinkish tone in a product actually gives you that flush of blush you know on your skin like you know how when you get out of the shower it just makes you look you know naturally blushed it has the same effect on the skin when you apply the product guys it has this beautiful luxurious texture oh my goodness like the texture of the product is incredible you know it's one of the it's one of the products that you apply on the skin and your skin is gonna be like wow as i'm applying it on the skin it's completely disappearing obviously this is a moisturizer infused with chemical sunscreen filters chemical sunscreen filters usually do not leave a white cast 90 percent of the time you do not see any white cast with chemical sunscreens the physical sunscreens are the ones that are kind of you know trouble <laughs> they're kind of stubborn you know you just have to work your way or find the good product now even from here guys as i'm applying it all i can smell is a fragrance of a product this product is heavily fragranced and the fragrance by the way it kind of burns your nose as well you know i am not a huge fan of that now i am eight months pregnant my uh sense of smell is still pretty strong even by nature i have a very strong sense of smell anything that i put on my skin i can easily smell and i can easily tell the difference you know what smells good what smells better or what smells like nothing so it does absorb into the skin really well this product completely takes away the dryness of the skin and uh, it does again hydrate the skin really well but something that you're gonna notice i'm not sure if you guys can tell it on the camera but my skin is very I mean, it's looking very oily and shiny and I don't have oily skin. I have dry skin and I am using mattifying foundation too, by the way. I'm like always dabbing myself with a napkin to kind of take away the shine. But then again, the rich consistency, in my opinion, does not agree with the luminosity of the product because it's going to make you look like oily mess. In my opinion, if you do have oily skin, oh my goodness like this product is a little too much i do not recommend it for oily skin people acne prone skin people because again it may tend to exaggerate the problems of your skin again guys this is my honest opinion honest review about the product please let me know if you do have any questions in the comment section i will answer all of your questions i kind of do take pride on this you guys know this <laughs> if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe if you do like skincare beauty lifestyle inspiration i do make a lot of videos in those categories hopefully you're gonna come back and hang out with me in my videos and i will see you in my next one guys have a great day